Let's have a look at Affinity Photos Equations Editor. Now this doesn't work on the iPad. On the iPad it's broken, I'm sorry. I hope they fix it one day soon. But this is on the desktop. Now this is the, the, um, the one I've already done. But what I want to do here is, let's do a new, a new one. Nothing fancy there, that's just all the, all the options I've got there. You can see I'm putting them on and off over in the different layers. So what we need to do here to start with, to show you how it works, I'll do a line of text. Artistic text. Let's put a line of text here. 43 point. Uh, that might be a little bit big. <laughs> Let's make it 30 point. Reasonable size. Okay, that's not too bad. Now is the time for men to come to the aid of the party. There's a nice long sentence. Now you can see the the um, equations I've got written in there, there and there. Well, I've got one turned off over behind that. Oh no, that's up the top. Okay, so I've got that selected. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. Go up to filters and distort and down to equations. Now in equations, unfortunately this equation editor panel won't stay on. But we've got X there. Now I'll go and find my equation that I've got tucked away into Evernote. Now this one works. You can see the equation editor goes away there for a minute. Now it's in the Y axis and doesn't do anything until I click in the x-axis and you can see how how very enlarged it is but moving that makes no difference moving that makes no difference and moving that makes no difference because it's on the y-axis does that make any difference wrap no it makes no difference at all full no difference at all so we'll just leave it at zero but in here We've got x divided by w, 33 pi. That one up there is 33 pi. So let's 50 times, let's change that to 50 times sine. And you can see it smoothed that out a bit. Now that there, the 6, I just forget the exact terms for that. It was uh, the John put it in the affinity thing. I'll have to look it up in the affinity forum. But let's make that 50. And you can see that spreads that into a, a bit of a mess actually. Still makes no difference using those things. So we've got y plus 50 times sine. 33 makes no difference hardly. Let's divide the W by 4. And there it is, smooths it out a little bit. That's the bottom one. 50 times sine plus by in brackets 33 times pi times x divided by W divided by 4. And that's that one there. Now that's how you change it. Let's see what happens when I make that an 8. Smooths it out considerably. Let's make it a 2. Let's make that 66. In which case we might have to make that 
8 again. And that smooths that out again. So you can see by moving that and that, it changes it around. Now I've got some other equations, some of which work and some of don't, some don't. Let's try another one I've got, see if it makes a difference. See, I'm moving the, the little slider there, parameter A, because it's 120 times A. That's B, and that's C, obviously. So if you've got other measurements in there, they appear in there. Now, I'm not too sure what those parameters do. Trigonometry is not my big subject. But I'll leave that there so you can copy the... Um, copy the Okay, I'll put that one in there actually. Artistic text tool. Let's move that one there so you can read it. That's that bouncy one there. <laughs> And next to it, I'll put slider A, varies the slider A, varies the wavelength. Now, how easy is that? That's all we should need to do. Now, you can use, you could put images in there and have them modified by that. Do we want to put an image in just for fun? Um, where's our images? Stock photo. T R A I N L I N E. Let's do a train line. Oh, there's all sorts of fair, all sorts of images there. Some, some useful, some not. Why doesn't that scroll up and down? That's pretty useless. Lines. Okay. Now there's some lines we can mess with. That's a fat lot of good, isn't it? Is that on a layer of its own and we can do something with it? It is. Uh, will this fit? Will that clip to that canvas only? Or is it occupying the whole damn canvas? Never mind, let's try it. Filters. Distort. Equations. Now I should still have that thing in memory. V and you can see how it's it's altered the entire image actually. You can see the top and the bottom there. Let's unlock that. Is that going to go? No. So if we unclip canvas,
I have no idea what that did to it. Something pretty useless, I think. Because that's still... Who knows? Okay. Let's back right out of that. And there we go. That'll do it. Enjoy playing with um, equations. Now I have some x equations around somewhere. Equations that go in the in the x bar, but um, I don't know where they are at hand. So you'll have to find those and work on them yourself. Thanks for watching. Another Robert Chalmers YouTube tutorial.